everybody, we're here at the Marlboro Falls, just two minutes drive from Kedem Winery. And we're having some delicious wines that will pair great with a barbecue in a hot summer afternoon, just like today. I want to thank, personally, I want to thank Ruvain Herzog, Riven, for making me really part of the crew. If you notice, I'm wearing what they call the harvest hat. This has gone through five harvests, I think, or something like that. And it really looks beat up, which even makes it more of a badge of honor. We have here the Flamme Rosé from Israel, from the Julian Hills. It's a delicious rosé, very refreshing, has some complexity to it, and would go fantastic with all the salads that we usually have uh, for, uh, for a barbecue. Only uh, a couple of hundred cases were made, amazing. but I hope you enjoy this. Lechaim. Ah, Lechaim. Okay, Jay. So we have here a brand new wine, very exciting. I love your socks. Thank you. Very colorful. Yeah. And your yeah. shoes too. Actually, it doesn't really match my shirt, but you know, whatever. Um, the Teal Lake Sauvignon Blanc from Australia. Brand new, brand new label. Brand new wine, brand new label. Give Delicious me some, give me some, give me some, give me some! Come on. It's so refreshing, amazing stuff. Now this would be great with corn on the cob, grilled yeah. corn on the cob. Get yourself a, 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 I don't know, ask your local rabbi, but get yourself a way to grill fish on the grill, okay? Well, get yourself a little table grill to mm -hmm. do the fish in. Mm. 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 Crisp and cold like this. Mm. Wow, is it good. Fantastic, Delicious. with real veggies. How real much fish. is this retail? Under $10. Are you kidding me? I am not kidding. Under $10. Under $10. Everybody can enjoy it. Yeah. And it's also got a fruitiness to it that even, you know, sweet wine drinkers might not like it exactly, but they won't, like, turn their nose up at That's it. That's true. That's so true. enjoy. Fantastic wine. Okay. So, moving on. Summer, barbecue. You don't need to have only rosé wine or white wine. There are some fantastic wines that go great for barbecue. Here's the Capsanes Perach Habib. Special edition Pinot Noir. Uh, Pinot Noir is a lighter uh, red variety uh, than, say, a Cabernet Sauvignon or a Merlot. Uh, provides fantastic food pairing. Goes great with grilled turkey, uh, with grilled I chicken. I want to see if it's going to go good with a hamburger. There we if go. If it has guts enough for that. It's got some earthiness and you know, to it. And you know what's great about Pera Habib in general, Capsanes, is that most of his wines come from 70 year old plus vines. True. I don't think this Pinot Noir is any different. It has classic Pinot Noir color. Smell this, it's amazing. Wow, wow. classic Earth. Pinot Noir herbalness, earthiness, uh, but without that fruit forward kind of opulence that you get from New World wines. You get some red fruit, like red currants. But this one I'm not spitting, I'm sorry. That's fine, me too. Delicious. It's just too good. Sour cherries, red currants, cranberries. But I, I agree. Amazing. I think this is more of a, a chicken burger, maybe veal burger, maybe veal chop kind of wine rather than a, a heavy burger type yeah, of, yeah. of wine. Uh, actually, I would go with like chicken skewers, you know? There you go. With, with, with vegetables you in know, between? You know, the, the Israeli pargit, yeah. the chicken figs. Delicious. and the sun on my face. All right, this is a brand new wine. It's very exciting, I love it. This is the Witkin Grenache Noir from Israel. Witkin is that boutique winery. Uh, it just got here last year. Uh, this is uh, one of their more expensive wine. It retails around $45. Uh, it's, however, Grenache Noir, Grenache is a barley that's originally from the Rhone Valley. Uh, it's lighter also, like, a, bit, a little bit like Pinot Noir, more light to medium batted, uh, very juicy, red fruit profile. Jay, you must taste this. But I will tell you that I spoke to Asaf, who's a good friend, and he's the winemaker, Asaf Paz, who's also one of the family members of the winery, and he told me that this is one of the oldest vineyards of Grenache in Israel. Wow. Again, that doesn't mean it's that old you know, relative to wine growing regions, but it is one of the older vineyards, so it's got more guts to it, it's got more flavor to it, it's got more, more stuff. It's, it's, it's a special wine. This is a really delicious bottle of wine. 
Hats Delicious. off to you, Asaf. L'chaim. L'chaim to everybody. Have a great summer. And remember, put on, what do you call that? Sunscreen. So you don't get, you don't get, yeah, to show them, uh, you know. I'm frying up here. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's because you don't have any hair. Yeah, that too. <laughs> L'chaim to everybody. Bye.